Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, Japa with your days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information. Or now you can jack back to Portugal where we reside, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a cheap and affordable relocation experience. Prior to now, we brought your way vocational experience to uh, uh, different European countries. We brought your way fully funded opportunities to uh, uh, South Korea. Among other information and opportunities that we brought your way, particularly for students, now, I have another exciting opportunity for all international students that are looking for an opportunity to be able to study without the stress or the burden of having to think about tuition fee, having to think about accommodation allowance, monthly stipend, or even feeding allowance. Yes, you heard me right. That is the opportunity that I want to talk about today. Now, this opportunity in this school cover your tuition fee, okay? About 6,000 scholarships are awarded to international applicants every year. Also, it cover cash stipend, which is your monthly stipend or monthly living expenses in this school. It also provides you an opportunity for you to be able to uh, I mean, enjoy a free meal every day without the stress of having to bother about what am I going to eat in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. So it covers free meal allowance as well. Now, let's now assume that, uh, I mean, out of the 6,000 scholarships that are offered to all international applicants, you are even unable to get the scholarship. The tuition fee for all international applicants, be it BSc, MSc, or PhD, is 1,000 euro. Yes, you heard me right. 1,000 euro. And the beauty of it, again, is that you can pay it instrumentally. Yes, you can pay it instrumentally. Five instrument, ten instrument, whatever is convenient for you. That is the beauty of it. So it is whatever is convenient for you that you'll be able to bargain with the school. Yes. So today I will be sharing with you the details about the school and mind you, the school is in Italy. The name of the school is called University of Calabria, University of Calabria. Yes. And the beauty of it again is that the application is currently ongoing. So which means you have up until April 10th of next month to apply. As an international applicant, you are aiming to study uh, BSc, you are aiming to study a PhD or master program. So you have up until April 10th to gather all your document and, you know, uh, and submit your application. So today I'll be showing to you the details about the application procedure, the timeline for when you have to apply, courses taught in English. That is what I'll be showing to you on this video. So if you are interested in such an opportunity that offer up to 6,000 scholarship for all international applicants. And to, I mean, to the extent that it says that even if you are unable to get scholarship, the tuition fee that all international applicants pay in our school is 1,000 euro. And to make things, and to make things very easy for you, you have up until five to 10 installments to pay the tuition fee of 1,000 euro. If you are unable to get the 6,000 scholarship offered to all international applicants. I mean, what are you waiting for? So if you are interested in such kind of opportunities, stick to this video till the end so that I can show you the details of the application procedure, necessary document that is required, the application fee of 10 euro and how you can pay it. Yes, you heard me right. Just 10 euro is the application fee for all international applicants. I will show you the details of about how you can make the application document required. And another thing is this. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we share information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also, don't forget to share this video and click on the bell so that you will get the notification by the time we drop all opportunities and information on this channel. So come with me as I show them to you. So as I said earlier, the name of the university is University of Calabria, University of Calabria in Italy. 
Yes. Now let's look at some of the juicy opportunity. Scholarship. Yes. Every year, Unical provides over 6,000 scholarship consisting of a cash portion, accommodation and canteen services, an exception from paying taxes. Wow. It even gives international students opportunity not to pay taxes during their study program. So this competition notice is published annually within the month of July. So this is a very great opportunity for all international applicants. And I'm really, very, very, very excited about this opportunity for you guys. So up to 6,000 scholarships are available for everyone. So now let's look at, let's assume that uh, for some reason, you are not able to, uh, for some reason, you are not able to, uh, I mean, uh, benefit from the 6,000 scholarship because, I mean, we have quite a number in Africa, okay, and all over the world. I mean, all, not only Africa are considered international applicants, there are many other uh, non-African students that are also considered international applicants. So, which means the numbers is quite enormous. So let's assume that out of these 6,000 scholarships that are offered yearly to all international applicants, you are even unable to benefit. You see here, he said in the event that the ISEE Pacific is not available, which is the scholarship now, in the event that the scholarship is not available, a flat rate tuition, a flat rate fee of 1,000 euro as a single contribution is expected to be paid to the university as an international applicant. And it can also be paid instrumentally what that, because they understand that as an international applicant, you are going to be coming in with a lot of responsibility. So assuming you are even unable to get the scholarship that is offered to about 6,000 international applicants, they, they expect that all international applicants pay a flat rate tuition fee of 1,000 euro, regardless of the program, BSc, MSc, and PhD, and they expect that you will also be able to pay it instrumentally. Instrumentally, so you cannot bargain for only five instrument, 10 instrument, whatever works for you is what you will be able to bargain with the school for. Wow, that is a very, that is a very, very uh, I mean, great opportunity. And I expect that everybody try as much as possible to latch into this opportunity. It's a very, very great opportunity for you guys. I mean, I, I really love now. Like I said, the application is currently ongoing, okay? And the deadline for submitting your application is by April 10 of this, of next month. April 10 of next month. So you are expected to submit your application. And if you want to, um, I mean, if you want to go ahead to submit your application, you can just click how to apply. It will take you to the details documentation, which of course I will show to you shortly, okay? Now, let me quickly show you another thing. It says here, for the academic year, which is 2024 2025, the University of Calabria will award 120 scholarships to foreign students enrolled to the 10 international master degrees taught in English. The scholarship includes tuition fee. Winners also benefit from free services, free meal, yes, such as board and lodging, and a 3,600 monthly allowance. A 3,600 allowance is also provided. And as you can see already here, it says that canteen services, which is meal allowance, is also among the 6,000 scholarships that are offered to all international applicants. So, I mean, you cannot, you cannot afford, of course, if you, if you want to, if you need any further clarifications or need some, you know, some sort of um, information to be able to, uh, I mean, aid your application, you can send an email to all of these emails that are on your, on the right side of the screen, you can send an email to them. I'll be leaving the details about the school and how you can apply. I'll be leaving the link on the description. So if you need any further clarification, you can always contact this um, uh, uh, department so that they can, you know, clarify your doubt or, you know, if you have any questions whatsoever, they will be able to clarify the information for you. And these are the list of courses that are taught in English. Now, the minute you see this flag, the UK flag in front of the course that you are interested in, that means the course are taught in English. Your master program are taught in, uh, are taught in English for uh, masters at, for uh, two years. Uh, master is a two years program. If you are interested in a PhD, it's between three to four years uh, program. If you are interested in 
a BSc program that is between three to four years uh, BSc. I mean, and in Europe, usually it is three years for BSc program. So the minute you see the UK flag in front of any of the course that you are interested in, that means the course are taught in English. As you can see here, course delivered in English here, yeah, you will see this flag in there. And the ones that are taught in both Italian and in English, you will see both Italian and English language in front of it. For instance, as you can see here, this course is taught in, uh, um, in both Italian and in English, while health biotechnology is taught in only English. Computing and networking is taught in English. Mechanical engineering, uh, uh, management engineering, both Italian and in English. So, uh, I mean, and the finance and insurance is taught in English and the artificial intelligence and computer science is taught in English. Physics, mathematics, chemistry are taught in English. And a bunch of them like that are taught in English. So these are the courses that are taught in English for, I mean, master's program, for PhD program, you can, of course, check for a PhD program. I just, I just uh, sort this out based on the, uh, based on a uh, master's program. So if you're interested in BSc program, you are interested in PhD program, you can as well do extensive research regarding each of these courses or any courses that caught your interest so that you can check whether they are taught in Italian or they are taught in English. Now, if you are now ready to submit your application, the minute you click on this place here, it will take you to the, to the session where you'll be able to see the list of documents that, are, uh, that you are expected to be able to use to apply. Now, let me quickly say this. If you are if you are if you are if you are just seeing this channel for the first time, don't forget to like and subscribe and also share this video to your loved one. This video is really going to help a whole lot of people this year. And I mean, you, you never know which person you are impacting by sharing information on your platform. Thank you very much. So these are the list of documents that I expected your international passport, your CV, your high school diploma, if you're going for BSC program. Your, uh, I mean, for BSc program, um, 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 master program or PhD program, high school diploma, which is your WAEG or your O level, you know, O level in Nigeria can be different. Uh, um, um, I mean, uh, can be GC, can be NAPTEP, can be NECO, can be WAEG, you know. So that is your high school diploma. That's what they mean by high school diploma. Your bachelor degree, university, university transcript, uh, university, uh, university transcript, university syllabus of all courses, which is also. Uh, I mean, embedded in, 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 in the transcript. Now, if you are going for Italian language courses, they expect that you provide some sort of um, uh, Italian, Italian language certificate. If you have it in possession, that's why you see they put it in bracket. Also, if you are going for English taught program, they expect that uh, you'll be able to show some sort of um, uh, a document to show that you understand English, they, uh, particularly if you are in possession of it. So if you are going for master's program or PhD program, I mean, with your um, uh, English proficiency certificate, this is more than enough. But if you have IELTS, TOEFL, Duolingo, and the likes, you can as well provide it. But it is not compulsory. That's why they said if you have it in your possession, okay? Now, the application fee, like I said, is just 10 euro. 10 euro, and you can pay it through this portal. Now, the minute you are interested in submitting your application, all you just have to do is to click on the application portal here. This is where you can submit your application, okay? How to apply for the admission call. Register on this platform here. Only for unregistered candidates can use this platform here. Now, you follow, access the portal, register with your details, email, uh, phone number, full names, and every other information. Every detail that is required, just provide them on this, pro on this platform, okay? And, of course, like I said, the deadline for submitting your application as an international applicant is April 10 of next month. So, I mean, you have about a month to uh, a month or thereabout to prepare all your document and submit for um, um, application or look for courses that interest your area of specialty or your area of interest and apply to this university. So, this is the opportunity I wanted to share with everybody at the University of Calabria in Italy. So it's a great one, and I'm really very excited to have brought this opportunity our way once again. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person 
to get notification and i'll also be dropping links of this video on uh, i mean links of this opportunity on the video description okay thank you very very much once again bye bye for now